When we were in high school, Mrs. Thorpe had two rules for us on the man that we were supposed to marry. One, he needs to be hardworking, and two, he needs to worship the ground that we walk on. In 2016, when you both started dating, it was only four months into the relationship, and I had started hearing about this guy. I was like proud of her. You were gonna be gone for 80 to 90 days, and Andrea shared with me that you wrote a postcard for every day that you were gone with one new thing that you loved about her. And for us, 80 things. I don't know if I could do it. I'll try. <laughs> but that was amazing. And the moment that I heard that story, I knew that I was going to know you forever because you were going to be a part of her life forever. And that was the only kind of person I ever wanted by her side. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God and creation. It signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and his church, and Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The earliest memory I have of Chris would be uh, fourth grade when we got told we were going to be in the same class and screamed so loud that all the teachers looked at us. And then we ended up being separated. <laughs> uh, since then, um, me and Chris have been through everything and I've learned a lot about him and his loyalty and how good of a person he is. And when I met Andrea for the first time, I saw all that in her as well. And uh, that's how I knew they were going to be a perfect couple together. Christopher, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Andrea, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others be faithful to him as long as you both shall live God, I, Christopher, take you, Andrea, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. In the name of God, I, Andrea, take you, Christopher, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. Now that Christopher and Andrea have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. It gives me great joy to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Bandy. You may kiss the bride.
five and a half years ago, or 2035 days ago, uh, we met Andrea uh, and instantly fell in love with her too. Honestly, we have said many times that if we could have handpicked the perfect woman to support, love, and partner with Christopher for life, we would have chosen Andrea. We are so blessed to welcome Andrea, officially, into our family, as she has already been in our family, in our hearts. Andrea, you are so lucky to have found Chris. And Chris, you are so lucky to have found Andrea. The good thing is, and you should feel good about this, and everybody should feel good, good about this, she knows what she wants, and she picked you. So let's go to the bride and groom. To Andrea and Chris, may you always appreciate unique qualities in one another. And may you have a enduring, joyful marriage together. Watching you like a movie scene 